come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. <laughs> Sam. Oh, morning, Kate. Well, got my list all made up. Hold it just a second, Kate. I got a surprise for you. Turn around and close your eyes. Oh, Sam, I don't have any time to play now, games. Now, do like I say, Kate. Just turn around and close your eyes. <laughs> okay, you can open them now. For me? <laughs> well, no, not for you personally, but for your use here in the store. I'm going to see how it works out. If it does, I'll buy another one in a couple of months. What for? To make your shopping easier. Well, it was easy the other way. I used to read you what's on my list. You would get it for me, and that was that. <laughs> but, Kate, this is modern merchandise. <laughs> oh. Well, let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> there we go. Feels nice. Sam, where's the bread? Used to be right here by the door. This is all a part of modern merchandising. I put the bread over there, so on the way over, you might buy a jar of peanut butter that you see, or a bottle of brewing, or a tin of saddle soap. <laughs> sure. I might buy a case of saddle soap on my way over to get a loaf of bread. <laughs> now you're catching on. Go ahead and try it. Being as you're my favorite customer, I'm letting you use it first. Hmm. Maybe we ought to have a ribbon button ceremony. Hey, <laughs> oh. it works beautifully, doesn't it? Beautiful. Oh, I just remembered something. A letter came for you this morning. Here we are. You might as well take it now instead of waiting for Floyd. Sam? You should have let me go over and get the letter. On the way, I might have picked up a tin of sardines. Oh, yeah. Well... CNFW Railroad. Hmm. Wonder what they want. Haven't heard from them in a long time. I thought by now they'd completely forgotten about the cannonball. Oh, not our good friend Homer Bedlock. My dear Mrs. Bradley, please reserve my favorite room for me at the Shady Rest. I will be the guest of you good people within the next couple of days. Kindest regards, Homer Bedlow. You good people, kindest regards. He sure spreads it on. <laughs> you know, it's amazing the letter didn't stick to the envelope. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, nothing good. The sweeter the letter, the more sour his visit. <laughs> well, I better get a move on if I'm gonna have a guess. <laughs> Well, that's okay, Kate. This was your trial run. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> My box is so powdered. Oh, Uncle Joe, did you get the window shade fixed in Mr. Bedlow's room? Yeah, I got it fixed. That's good. During his last visit, that's all we kept hearing about. The window shade wouldn't stay down. Plus a couple of dozen other complaints. That guy gripes when he talks in his sleep. Where are you going to those? I'm putting these in Mr. Battle's room. This is getting sickening, the way you cater to that Jasper. Mom doesn't want to have any problems. She's going all out to make his visit as pleasant as possible. That's why she wants this room to be just right. <laughs> well, a little sunshine will do that bird a world of good. Joe, let's go out and greet Mr. Bedlow. Greet Bedlow? Kate, that's the funniest thing you've said all morning. <laughs> Uncle Joe, we're gonna treat him nice if it kills us. 
What a horrible way to go, being nice to Bedlow. <laughs> What's Bedlow coming here for, anyhow? I'd like to think it was for rest and relaxation, I'd like to think. Here it comes. Did you ever see anything so pitiful the way that flight kowtows to Bedlow, carrying his luggage? <laughs> Mr. Bedlow, welcome to the Shady Rest. Nice to see you, Mrs. Bradley. And you too, Mr. Carson. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my good man. Thank you, sir. I'll take over here, in spite of my bad double attached disc. It's wonderful to be back in this beautiful little valley. Thank you. Uncle Joe will show you to your room, number five. My favorite room. Your hospitality overwhelms me, Mrs. Bradley. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Lloyd. Huh? What's he doing here? Did he say anything on the trip down? Yeah, he really opened up. He did? Yeah, he said I did a real nice job of engineering. You mean he was actually complimentary? I had to look at the name on his suitcase to be sure it's Bedlow. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are a few pieces missing out of this puzzle, but I'll find out what they are. <laughs> And you had a nice trip down on the cannonball. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I was afraid with Floyd running the train alone that you might find fault with the service. Heaven for fair. No, that, that smooth fellow does an excellent job. As a matter of fact, I'm here to, uh, to aid and protect him. You're here to aid and protect Floyd? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the cannonball has a very important assignment. It's transporting a valuable resource between Hooterville and Pixley. And I want to be on hand to see that there are no slip-ups. Well, why would anyone want to transport a valuable resource between Hooterville and Pixley? How's that? Why would anyone want to transport a valuable racehorse between Hooterville and Pixley? Mm. Well, we in the railroad business do our job. We don't ask questions. But I would That's the business. But <laughs> these are happy times. Mr. Bradley, I understand that your daughter got married recently, and I've, I've brought a wedding present for her. Why, Mr. Bedlow. Well, don't get all choked up. It's for her, not you. <laughs> well, let me thank you on her behalf. Yes? Nice suitcase. <laughs> Beautiful leather. It has your name engraved on it. Oh, your bed, Lou. What did you expect? Twiggy? Oh, yes, I No. <laughs> well, this is really something. For one thing, how did he know Betty Joe got married? I'll tell you how I knew. I took it on myself to send him a wedding announcement. You did? When my niece gets married, she gets presents from everybody, friend and foe alike. <laughs> oh, you know, we could be all wrong about Mr. Bedlow. I didn't get him wrong. He still didn't tip me. <laughs> Why should he? You didn't carry your suitcase upstairs. Pick, pick, pick. 